Today on Athena, we're going to be making curtains uh, for our windows on Athena. And we have with us uh, our designer extraordinaire, Sharon, who will be working with us. Uh, we'll be working together as a team, hopefully to produce some nice curtains. We have some great material that we think will look really cool. We have a composting head, which means we need a vent to exhaust out to the outside world. We have a vent for the engine room, and now we have a hole for the, uh, the, the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mold of this one, and then from the mold which will be a female mold. I'll make a male copy of it, which will match exactly the same shape as this one. And we'll put it over here. We'll have to paint it uh, kind of in a faux vert de gris. And I think it'll look pretty cool. So first I'm uh, putting tape around the whole thing. Cause I'm going to, uh, cover this with some of the uh, grease for mold release and that way when I put the fiberglass on I can just pop it right back off again but fiberglass doesn't stick or epoxy doesn't stick to uh, clear tape okay we've got the tape all on I gotta put some grease over it So the epoxy is all cured. It should, it should pop off easily, I hope. Let's see. Oh, wow. That was easier than I thought. Now I'll uh, put fiberglass in here and make a male model that will match exactly that. But of course this is still covered in greasy slime. And the tape's got to go. It's good to have a pair of scissors just for doing fiberglass. These are pretty well trashed for any other work. Yeah. 
So I've trimmed up the mold and put another layer of grease inside. I also made a uh, plug covered in tape to uh, form the mouth properly. So let's get some epoxy going. I've cut the fiberglass on the bias, which means at a 45 degree angle, that helps it drape into the curves better. Okay, it's been 24 hours. Let's see what it looks like. Ha! Threw off easier left side. 